In this video we're going to see how LiDAR data can help us explore how humans have changed and managed a river in County Antrim. If you know anything about the photogenic locations in County Antrim, you'll know about the world famous Dark Hedges. Made famous by the Game of Thrones television show, of course, you will have thousands of people visit here during the day to enjoy the enchanted intertwining branches of this tree-lined avenue. Although there is a similar kind of tree-lined avenue just a little bit further south in the southern part of County Antrim that is a lot less well known. And it looks kind of like this, and instead of a road going down the middle of it, you've got a river going down the middle of it. It's absolutely beautiful and an enchanting location. It looks like somewhere where you can get lost in the mists of time. And yet, as we're about to discover, this area has been subjected to some very significant human management and we can use some LiDAR data to help us to see that. If you look at this river you might notice that it is particularly straight, unusually so you might say. In fact it looks very much like the straight little avenue at the dark hedges where trees have been planted alongside it and that is exactly what has happened here. These trees have been planted along the river bank. And that's part of the reason why the channel here is staying so straight, because the trees on either side are preventing that lateral erosion. But if you look very closely at the channel flow here, this is a wonderful example of a river trying to begin that process of meandering. Because if you go and put your wellies on, because it isn't very deep here, and walk up, you will walk through a series of pools and riffles. And I wonder, can you see how the current is reflecting that? If you look at the current flowing, you can see that the current is swinging from side to side. It's pushing out laterally there, um, and it's pushing out laterally there. And the river is trying to meander, and yet you've got the trees on either side that are trying to resist that. And as you wander down this river, you will see places where the banks have been undermined because of that erosion. And places, you can just about see them here, where there are tree stumps here, because the trees themselves have become so undermined that the farmer had to cut them down unless they fall down. So what you're actually looking at here is a river trying to do its natural thing. It's trying to begin that process of meandering. But... Clearly, at some stage, these trees were planted here that are preventing that. But it's when we go into our GIS map that we can begin to see this in operation and begin to use the LiDAR to help us to understand why. Here's our little tree-lined um, river here. And you can see even from this glance that this is particularly straight in comparison to some of the other areas around here. We'll go in a little bit closer and we begin to see just how straight that channel is uh, along in comparison to the other areas around it. But let's turn on the LiDAR layer and have a look and all of a sudden we're going to see some things emerging from the mists of past because you will begin to see some evidence here that this tree line river was previously actually very sinuous indeed that it meandered all over the place. And you can see particularly here just how sinuous that river was. Now at some stage in the past, this river has been straightened and straightened considerably. And the trees have been put there to try and maintain it in that straight position. As we saw in the photograph, the river within the channel is trying to weave and meander around the pools and riffles and it is undermining the trees. The river will ultimately win, of course, the trees tragically will come down because it does look absolutely beautiful. And the river will start to try and reassert its natural meandering form. But it's the use of the LiDAR information that allows us to peer past the present and begin to see what is hidden in plain sight in terms of the history of this river.